Alright, so, hi everybody, I'm Rob with the DDO guys, coming to you from the Lamania server. I wanted to hop on here and see some of the new add-ons, so I made myself a quick dra purple dragonite fighter so I can see the trees. I figured I'd give you guys a quick little look-see of what the trees look like. So, uh, right now we have the vanguard, we'll look at it. Uh, looks like... Uh, we have your base stuff down here at the bottom, to the fore, we have a shield equipped, gain plus one to hit and damage your main hand weapon, and with your shield bash attacks, not bad, it looks like Vanguard's pushed more towards a tank ability. Now the next core ability, plus 10% chance to make a secondary shield bash, next one, 10% chance to make a secondary shield bash, and while you have a shield equipped, plus 5% combat style bonus to melee attack speed. It's a little bit faster. 10% chance to make a secondary shield bash. Oh, I should have clicked plus 5% combat style bonus to melee speed. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be too bad. Shield gains an extra 1 weapon damage. Uh, shield gains plus 1 critical threat range. An extra 5% combat style. Looks like it's aiming a lot towards major shield bashing. I mean, that's the whole. By the time you're level 20, you're going through Vanguard. That's a whole right here plus one two three weapon damage with your shield then we go up here tier one uh, why have shield equipped plus one to hit damage and armor class plus one fort uh, plus one fort for one point plus two four plus three four Shield smash. Weapon shield equipped. Activate melee attack with your shield. Plus one weapon damage on damage. Your PRR and MRR, which is magic resistance rating, if you don't know what that is yet, are increased by two for 12 seconds. And then it goes on to three weapon damage and six for 12 seconds. Then we have when you shield bash, damage energies get enemies get minus one to saving throws for two seconds and all the way down to six seconds here. Two to six. Plus one balance and two and eight jump reduces total penalty to skills from armor and shield by one. Not bad. Tier two, another plus one to hit and damage armor class. Plus one to DC your stuns. Not bad. Um, another, and it looks like another shield bash. And it also stuns, so I can see that definitely helping with some stacks. Uh, you gain. The benefit of deflecting arrows feet, knocking aside one incoming projectile. So, deflect arrows up to an F every two seconds, not bad. Another action boost, melee attack speed. I'm assuming it, the way it looks like Vanguard is set up, and I'll keep on going, it looks like it's designed to just run up with your shield and keep on doing fast shield bashes and high threat range. Um, Strength, strength. Plus one, yeah. okay. Plus one to attack rolls from critical hits. Plus one damage on critical hits. So it's pretty nice. I have a shield equipped. Ten percent chance, up to a ten percent chance to block melee attacks and missile attacks. It's interesting. Not sure exactly how that's supposed to work. It shows you gain plus three slash six slash six ten chance to block melee attacks and missile attacks, and then as you go up, it goes to plus five, eight, thirty. So I'm not entirely sure how that means. Um, ten percent chance to make a secondary shield bash. When <laughs> when you shield bash, damage enemies gain one stack of vulnerability. So yeah, it looks like they took the vanguard and made the vanguard just kind of a walking shield powerhouse. Almost doesn't even seem like it's worth using a sword with these guys. Um, they're definitely definitely pushing around a lot of shield damage. Um, I'll go ahead and switch over so, I can, so you guys can see this a little bit. Um, there is magical resistance rating now along with your physical resistance which has been changed. So, I mean, this is, I literally just made a character, did the 
um, straight to 15 uh, purple dragonite and put on its gear. So pull, you know, the standard purple dragonite gear. Um, and I mean, this is what you get. I am 46 armor class and stuff. I obviously don't have any enhancements. I didn't put any there, but I am at base 86 physical resistance. It's pretty nice. Base magic resistance 55. That's really nice too. So you know, they both work about the same way. You just take less damage. It's like it's basically a form of um, damage reduction. Um, and of course you have attack speed and double strike chance and in the new one that everybody's been looking forward to including myself weapon power and if I get a chance to tonight I'm going to pull up my bard um, I'll make another recording we'll pull up my bard and show you the difference in attack power I mean, in all honesty it's not entirely huge um, my attack power is uh, plus 40 <laughs> plus 40 um, with my bard and that you guys saw my update 22 bard that I put my stats and stuff on and if you guys noticed I was doing about 100 points of damage a swing you know minus crits and things as my average with my weapon um, I did hop on a little bit earlier and, and tested it out and the average damage did go up. I'm averaging about 140 now. Um, they did kind of dumb down single weapon fighting a bit. I'm going to log back on my bard and check it out some more. But I wanted to show you guys the vanguard and that's pretty much what it is right there. Showed you all the different stuff that they have. And then um, of course there's a harper agent which is for VIPs only. And I might go into that a little bit more later if I get a chance. Really, it's it's just kind of a it's almost to me it seems like a generic kind of place to dump your points if you have if you're trying to multi-class or have different classes. It's really good for point dumping to get a little extra, you know, dex or intelligence or charisma. Um, if you're an intelligence caster. It does let you use your intelligence modifier for damage and for attack, which is one of the first times we've seen that. So that's really, really interesting. Um, might be nice for some rogues out there that that might be wanting to do more skill sets or um, artificers, definitely, who already have a spell that lets them do one or the other. Now you have an ability. So I mean, if you can do this one, which gives you intelligence modifier to hit, you can keep the intelligence modifier to damage one and therefore never even really need decks to um, to use for your abilities much. Now, of course you're going to need some decks in order to get your ranged uh, combat feats, but eh, other than that, you're, this tree is fairly nice. Got some good attack power in it. Um, this increases range power. I don't know if that's going if that actually works yet. Uh, from what I understand, range power isn't really hugely in the game yet, but they're pushing to try and do a little bit for them um, later on. Like, like range power is actually in the game, but they're not putting a lot of stuff toward it. Most of it's toward melee right now. And they're trying to slide in range attack power or weapon power in there too. So. There you have it. Go ahead. It's been. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and log out, log back in the Bard, and uh, see if I can't put that recording up for you guys here in a little bit. It's Rob with the DDO guys. Thanks, guys.